Hello, it's Game Dog, the Gamer here, and uh, well, welcome to a little like intermission from my uh, from my Stick Ranger Let's Play. This is a game that I have made uh, over a year ago on a website called Scratch.mit.edu. Basically, what this uh, site is is you can make your own projects and then post them on the internet using a program called Scratch. I have an account on this site, and I have had it way longer than I had a YouTube account, so oops, I died there. And well, this was one of the first projects I ever made. Um, it's called the Friction Test, as you can probably see from the title, and it is kind of hard. And well, I have made this project over a year ago, so it's rather old, for considering, uh, it's rather old compared to my other projects. So, uh, I figured that... I might I might as well just like see if I'm still good at my own work and stuff like that, and actually see if I can uh, try and get through this area. Basically, the basic controls of this game is well, it's pretty simple. You uh, use your arrow keys to try to get to the yellow mats on the other side here, and you have all these obstacles you have to get by. Uh, I remember some of these being really brutally hard. And what's it? Oh, that's right, yeah, I, I didn't know how to, like, make a word saying, you win, or stuff like that back in the... Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, I do. You win, yay. Yay, I win. I believe I made, uh, nine of these. Nine of these ones. And I'm gonna see if I can play through all of them. And uh, I'm also gonna see if I can get the window right here. Yeah, so this is the Friction Test 2. Yes, I made, a. Uh, I remember some of my uh, later ones being more advanced, but as of now, like, the fir the first five of them, it just gets really brutally hard over time. Like, honestly, oh, you should see number five. I'm not even sure if I can do some of these now. Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go. I should wait, no, it's the only way I can go. Uh, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, yes, yes. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, go through here. Ooh, this might be hard. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so this site is pretty, a pretty fun site. It's, uh, it, scratch.mit.edu. I consider it like, uh, training wheels to, like, new grounds and whatnot. Because you can make, like, projects and games on new grounds as well, but it's way more advanced on that site. This is, like, a really simple site. Like, if you like simplicity in your Flash games, or just, like, to make your own simplicity stuff like that, this is definitely a good, uh, this is uh, definitely a good place to go. And yay, I win again. Now for the third one. And I'm starting to get a bit scared here because I know these get way hard over time. Duh. Set the window. Okay. And, oh, this one, uh. Yeah, now I'm starting to get a bit more advanced of my uh, work here. I, uh. I have added a ball that moves back and forth. As you can see, uh. Down, like, the center bottom there. Yeah, nowadays I can make, like, really more advanced projects, but this was, like, a starting out series I had. So, uh, it, it's, it's very simple, it's very fun if you like games like this, because there are a bunch of games like this on Scratch. And, uh, a lot of people say they really like mine a lot. My projects a lot. It's like, uh, and there we go, I win Fortune Tested. That was, I actually had an easier time with that one than I had with two. Ooh, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the thumbnail for this. I am not looking forward to this one. Oh, okay, this might be difficult. Uh, oh, yeah, if you die, there's really no penalty. You just go back to the starting area. Basically, you have to avoid anything, uh, like anything. If you touch anything but anything that's yellow, if you touch anything but yellow something, you will die. Like, the only safe area besides the empty space is that yellow mat. Anything else will kill you, and, uh, you don't want that. Hmm. Okay, so, oops, I uh, almost got hit there. You have to time this pretty well. Oh, yes, it's amazing what you can make with just four arrow keys. You can make things like this! Uh... If any of you are wondering, my uh, Scratch account. Uh, oh, whatever. I'll try one last time. If I don't get it this time, I'll just go to number five. Okay, this time. If I fail this time, I'll go to number five. Aha! 
But if any of you are curious about my Scratch account, it's, uh, it's, uh, just Game Dog. It's the same as my YouTube name, except that uh, you take out the V at the end. They're the only reason why I add the V in my YouTube name is because, uh, Game Dog is already taken. And, heck, it's only, it's actually, it's, an, it's uh, only eight letters long, so I kind of imagined it would have been taken. I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of like the name V Game Dog, though, even though I do like just plain old Game Dog, Game Dog better. Yeah, so if you want to see how, check out my Scratch projects, uh, my name is called Game Dog. And, uh, okay, this is where I died, uh, the first time. And, uh, oh, wait, no, this is where I died the first, uh. Okay, yeah, you just go around here, go through these bit more rotating things, and then onto that one. Okay, now, I remember five being the hardest one out of all of them. So let's see how, uh, how bad I am at this. Wow, I can't even... I can't even beat in my own game. And, oh no, this is. <laughs> I'm looking at. The, oh wow. I'm looking ahead. This is gonna be. You know, I might not do this one either. Don't worry. I think four and five are the only one I can't really do nowadays. The rest of them are pretty manageable. <sighs> okay, if I die one more time, I'm just gonna go to the. Uh, just gonna explain how you do this and then go to the next one. I remember six, uh, the sixth one being the one where I really learned how to start adding some cool aspects to uh, games, such as conveyor belts. <laughs> six has conveyor belts. However, it's not as good. It's not as a uh, hard, actually. No, I, I consider six actually better than this one. Ooh, uh, I don't know why I add all this extra stuff. But yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna explain it. So you go around here, go through these ones, time yourself. I recommend you go around this way, uh, slowly make your right way around here and get to the element. I have no idea why I had this stuff over here. Probably just because I could. And uh, now for number six. The friction test six. And oh, this might take a while. One take might, might take a while to load. I'm going to, uh, one second, I'll be right back when this loads up. Okay, I'm back. Took a bit longer to load than I thought. Uh, wait one second. Oh, this one has uh some of the some music to it. The first one has music and uh, oh yeah, I remember this one being kind of a puzzle too. If you uh oh whoa okay oh that's what I mean. That's what I mean by uh by puzzles. Yeah, this one has puzzles to it. For example, if you hit that button, you uh you lose because you can't get past this area and hit this button. So yeah, it's kind of a oh now I have to guess which one I have to do again. Different maps will move you around, which is why I kind of consider them conveyor belts now. So that's kind of interesting. It's my first uh, friction test with conveyor belts, and it's starting to get a lot harder. If you see me swerving around a lot, that's why. And, oh oh, I remember this one being the first one to have power ups as well. And now I gotta restart it. If you uh if you hit that like somewhat flashing uh button, you'll start going faster. And you need it to get past the green mat to get to the end of the cave. Because apparently this takes place in the cave now. And uh yeah, that's how you win. Uh I just gonna have to get that now. And okay, go, 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 go. Okay, gotta make sure I'm I'm going way faster now, so that's a kinda be careful. And this should be good. Yes, oh yes, 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 yes. And now to take like a quick intermission from the Friction Test uh, normal series, we have the Friction Racer, kind of like a spin-off project I made. Uh, this one was kind of fun when it first came out. Oh, I also have like a leaderboard at the right side in the project descriptions. Uh, people have posted like their best times and whatnot. It has the exact same controls as the other Friction Tests. Except, uh, this one has, a uh, instead of, like, having conveyor belts and whatnot, this one has, like, the green uh, stuff, which is supposed to be grass that'll slow you down. And basically what you gotta do is you gotta go around this way, hit the button, and then, uh, get to the checkered flag. And, uh, nope, I did not beat anyone's time. The, uh, the best time, is, the best time for this game is, uh, by a guy named Goose, spelled with four O's. Um, it's, he had, uh, 30, 30.672 seconds, um, second place is His Star with, uh, His Star 8818 with, uh, 
eight seven three seconds, and in third place is myself with a uh, thirty point eight eight five seconds. So yeah, I that's kind of a tough one. See, I mean, it's not tough; it's just tough to get in the high score. And now for the friction test uh, seven, and this one I remember this one having some actual actual levels to it, and uh, some Morgan more okay more lines out movie this time around. If you hit touch these, they will uh. You know, make you move down. And what the? Why does it say easy right there? Whatever. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to see this yellow line here, but this will push you upwards. You want to like hold down so you don't go too fast, because if you go too fast, you're you're gonna die easily. Uh, and uh, okay, you move around here. Uh, oh wow, um, I made 7 out of 8 games, I made it 7 out of 8 games without running out of commentary, I'm doing pretty good. Now guys, so we're almost done with this level, so uh, uh, oh yeah, this is also the first friction test to have multiple levels to them, and these pink mats will move you uh, upright, but that doesn't matter, we're done now. And this is kind of a puzzle here, only one of these is uh, only one of these blue mats will lead you, mostly because of the color. And whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, how do I do this one again? I kind of forgot how you do this one. No, seriously, I forgot how you do this one. Uh, maybe in the. Oh wait, no, I see like a lightly. Oh yeah, I get it now. There was like a lightly blue little tiny dot in that little corner right there. You have to go for that. And then this one, if you can see really well, you might be able to notice that some of these uh, black lines are actually like gray, have a lighter tone to them. That's how you're supposed to figure out that one. And no, I don't want to put that. And I've got a winner. I am a winner. And for being a winner, I'm just going to die constantly because I'm a jerk like that. <laughs> I have no idea why I programmed the screen as is, but you know what? We just did, did, did that one. We just beat that one. So now for the Friction Test 8, the final one. Um, I remember this one being one of the hardest ones because uh, unlike the other ones, unlike uh, Friction Test 7, if you die, you will uh, you'll actually die. Like you can't start over. You have to start all the way from the beginning. Welcome to base FT8. Roll into the blue platform to start. I am assuming FT8 stands for Friction Test 8. Roll carefully. Yeah. Uh, I, c I can't really record music. I have no idea how you record music and your voice at the exact same time with Camp Studio. It's something I haven't really figured out how to do yet, but the music uh, that's actually playing right now is, uh, is, uh, is, it's a portal, a song from Portal, uh, like 4,000 uh, Degrees Keldra, something like that. It's, it's named something like that. I forgot what it was called. Uh, sorry about that, but. But, uh, same rules as the other friction tests, just roll your way onto the blue mat to, uh, to move on. And carefully move onto, uh, this part of the area, and then carefully roll over here, and boom, there we go. Color mats will roll you all over the place, for the better, or for the worse! <laughs> Yes, the yellow one will push you upwards into the green one that will push you to the left to the lines and kill you. And the red one, I believe, will push you downwards. Uh, what do we have now? Do not touch the wheel. That's kind of obvious. Okay, this one you kind of have to kind of time. And, uh, okay, okay. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be really careful here. Okay, this is where I gotta speed up. Speed up! Speed up! <laughs> and now I really gotta speed up! Go, 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 go! Yay! Go! <laughs> and, uh, by go, I mean wait, because, uh, if I do go, I'll hit that spinning line and kill myself. Be very fast. Or not. What will these do? Oh, they'll push you, uh, they'll push you, okay. Yeah, the, the uh, words will actually kill you as well, because it's the same color as the walls, which will kill you. And that kind of a programming fail right there. I'm going to have to fix that if you ever bother making a friction test 9. Which I probably won't. An odd room, yes. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind, I'm not touching any buttons right now. It just pushes you all over the place. And now I'm actually going to try and uh, make it to the other side. Run. No, get over there.
Okay, how are these working? Come on. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Come on. Get it over there. Grr. Yay, I win. I win. And once again, we, for winning, we get nothing but death. Yeah, so that was kind of a simple uh, little project I made for my earlier years in Scratch. Uh, check out this project if you want to. If uh, Check out this project if you want. And, uh, well, join Scratch today because it's a fun site and you should all all contribute to it. So, uh, this has been Game Dog, the Gamer, signing out. Thanks for watching.